Oh, this is Mr. Hornby 83 with another Mr. Hornby 83 review. This time the Wolverine. I did not review it Sunday. I was wore out because me, my wife, kids, my brother, my sister-in-law, my other brother-in-law, my mom, and my sister's kids all went to the flea market, so we were pretty tired. Um, so I'm going to do the Wolverine. I was going to do a visual of it, but I decided... You know, I didn't feel like getting, digging it out and freaking hunting for it. And I didn't want to do this video too late. So, I just decided I'm going to straight up get a review. Now, I did mention I'm starting a new review scale tonight. And what it's going to be, it's going to be su really sucks, sucks, um, okay. Uh, underappreciated, overrated, good, and very good. That's how I'm going to rate movies from here on. I might still use the five-star scale for games or something, but for now, done with that scale. So, The Wolverine. And this one, Wolverine's in Korea, trapped in a prison camp, and it looks like a, like some kind of bomb's about to kill some of the Koreans. And Wolverine saves the main general. And then we flash forward to like years and years ahead, Wolverine having bad dreams about him killing Gene and all that. When from X Men Three to Last Stand. Um, then afterwards, he then has to kill a bear because some hunters like shot it with some poison dart and didn't finish the bear off. So Wolverine had to kill the bear, which he was very upset about, and he went looking for the guy. Um, he hunted him down into a bar and took care of him. Then he meets Yukio who tells him who she works for and why she was sent to him and all that. At first he wasn't going to go but she finally persuades him to go so he goes to meet the colonel he or general he saved years and years ago in the war. But you know the the time frame between this one and Origins is kind of weird, so. Um, which then leads to a big, oh, he gets caught in the middle of a war between, you know, Monaco's father, Monaco's fiance, who's cheating on her, which Wolverine takes care of that guy. Um, and the situation with her grandfather, and... So pretty much this one, it kind of reminded me, and actually I think it came on, I think G4, a year prior to when the Wolverine movie came out. Um, it's pretty much like the Wolverine anime that Madhouse made, and you know, I'm not saying the movie wasn't good, but what I'm going to give it, what I'm going to rate it. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but you'll hear my rating in a minute. But it's pretty much it's like a big old family war, and he's caught in the middle, and then he falls in love with uh, Monaco, which I thought he met before he joined the X-Men, but I guess not. <laughs> um, so he's, you know, and also uh, the lady that was working for. Monaco's grandfather takes his healing power away, ends up giving it to Monaco's uh, grandfather, which we find out at the end. Or no, she don't give it to him. I think she just blocked something from his healing to, or something like that. I forgot. But I'm also still watching the movie. But after that, he gets that out, and <sighs> Sorry. he gets that out, and goes to face him and at the time he didn't know her gra that Monaco's grandpa was behind it the whole time which this whole thing was orchestrated by him uh also I believe had Kikio I think that was his name yeah Kikio which was another character from the Madhouse anime which I was like what uh, I'm pretty sure this was in some of the Wolverine comics but yeah so you know it was a weird movie uh, I didn't like how the Silver Samurai looked in the movie. 
and who the Silver Samurai turned out to be was even more of a disappointment because I was hoping it ended up being, you know, Monaco's, you know, ex or her father or, you know, some petty crook or something. But it was none of that. It was her grandfather who somehow survived. And it's pretty much, um, but it was, an, it was more action packed. It was, you know, had a better storyline than Origins. But, you know, the final climax really sucked. Um, I didn't like how Silver Samurai looked. I didn't like how things went, you know, turned out at the end of the movie. Um, I did like the end credit scene. That was the good thing about it. Because it led to Days of Future Past, which is the best X-Men movie ever. People might argue Logan is, which we'll find out. <laughs> which we'll find out how much more that does. But, um, but overall, like I said, I'm not saying it wasn't a good movie. But in my opinion... And I think the reason why it got so overrated, because I hear a lot of people now, they're kind of swaying back from what they said when the movie first came out. But at the time, people were saying, oh, this movie was great, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to give The Wolverine overrated. Like I said, I'm not saying it's not a good movie. It is a good movie. It's definitely better than Origins. But um, I just think, you know, the climax really mess things up um, and the way Silver Samurai looked really ruined it and yeah like I said it is a good movie but it's overrated and uh, that'll do it for this review sorry if I rambled a little or not but <sighs> uh, please like this video leave a comment subscribe for more I'm gonna... I'll hit shout outs on my topic video Thursday but, um, please follow me on my Facebook fan page, Mr. Hardaby83 Topics. Um, I do Facebook Lives on there. I've done written reviews. I utilize it a lot. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Hardaby83. I utilize that a lot lately, too. So, um, so until my video for oh, the Toy Talk, yeah, a new Toy Talk Pop Vinyl Edition. Thursday and then uh, probably the week after that since WrestleMania is coming up I'll do a Russell Talk video and then I'll let you know what I'm going to do from there but uh peace out